I've been making a living fishing now for 45 years. Back in the mid-70s into the 80s, this harbor would freeze up during the winter time, literally frozen. You'd have to break ice to get out to your boat. Uh, and the water was 28, 29, 30 degrees here in the harbor. Now the water this winter was 38 degrees, was, a, was the lowest I've seen. So the, the temperature of the water has changed tremendously in, in just 40 years that I've been fishing. And so species have changed as well. When I was a kid, young, young fisherman, there was a big population of ground fish, cod, haddock, flatfish. Most ground fishermen now have turned into lobstermen. I lobster from, you know, late spring, early summer, right through into the late fall, and then switch over and go scalloping for the winter. Uh, spring lobstering is not as good as it used to be. The last two years I've chosen not to go spring fishing, so kelp farming fills that void. Kelp is farmed without the use of any arable land, fresh water, fertilizer, or pesticides. What we do is we take some wild kelp from the wild, about 10 to 20 pounds, which will end up being around 800,000 pounds of kelp, and we reproduce it in our nursery so that it ends up settling where we incubate it on long twine for about 30 to 40 days. Then we give it to our partner farmers who take that twine and put it on 1,000 foot horizontal lines in the water, around seven feet down. That's done in November, and as long as everything um, goes together well, you just, you just let it be all winter long. And come, come May, we will then, using my lobster boat, start harvesting. We pick the kelp up at the wharfs where it is landed. We bring it down to our food processing facility in southern Maine. We can turn it into products where it basically has a very light taste and texture, almost like a, a green bean or a kale or a spinach rather than sort of a sea vegetable. We found that people are just so excited to try it and the fact that they know exactly where it came from. Kelp is definitely part of the solution, and aquaculture generally is. The Gulf of Maine is warming faster than 99% of oceans in the entire world. Aquaculture, mussels, seaweed, oysters, all these things that you can control a lot more. You can control the environment around them a lot more, and you can have a productive future. So really what we're talking about is just going back to a diversification so that we're not so predominantly reliant on one industry. Everywhere we've seen people relying on one industry, it never works out. And so what this is doing is it's not taking away from lobster or giving an alternative to lobster, it's adding to it like we've always done. That's what we're good at here in Maine, so let's focus on what we can be good at so we can better prepare for adaptation as the future becomes closer and closer.